Hi friends, Tony here and welcome to another fun loop yarn video tutorial. Today we're making the last minute scarf. I named it that because you can finish this entire scarf in just 30 minutes. And the best part is you don't need any knit or crochet skills to do it. To achieve the knit look of this pattern, I use Bernat Ali's Easy Wool. It's a wool blend loop yarn that I found at my local Joanne store. I love the soft texture and it's so easy to use. If you can't find it at your Joanne store, I've included a link in the description to purchase it online. If you like my videos, please give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have way more free patterns, unboxings, and product reviews that I don't want you to miss. Now, let's get into the tutorial. For the last minute scarf, you'll need three balls of Bernat Elise Easy Wool. This makes a scarf that's six and a half inches wide and about 75 inches long, not including the pom-poms. I'll talk more about adjusting the length and width of your scarf in the tutorial. You'll also need two large pom-poms, scrap yarn that matches your pom-poms, a sharp tapestry needle, and scissors. If you want to adjust the size of your scarf, you'll also need a tape measure. To get us started, you'll wanna grab your first ball of yarn, take the label off, and then find the end of your yarn that is on the outside. So just fluff it up a little bit. That end was on the inside, and this end is on the outside. So I'm gonna give myself just a little bit of lead yarn, just take a little bit of the yarn off the ball so it'll be easier to work with. And now I'm just going to open up my yarn and kind of lay my loops flat so I can start counting out how many I need for my scarf. So to make my scarf, I laid my loops flat and counted out 16. This is gonna make a scarf that's about six and a half inches wide. Now, if you wanna adjust the size of your scarf, particularly the width, you'll want to lay your loops flat and then measure your loops to the desired width. Then double that amount of loops. So in my example, eight loops measured six and a half inches wide. I doubled it to 16 loops because I'm making my scarf in a tube. So if you want a narrower scarf, you're gonna use less loops. And if you want a wider scarf, you're gonna use more loops. So now I'm just gonna count out my 16 loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now I'm gonna identify loop number 17, which is the next one right here. And I'm going to push that through loop one. And this is how I'm gonna start working in the round for my tube scarf. I'm gonna find the next loop on my working yarn, which is the yarn that's available that's coming from the ball. That's right here. And I'm gonna push it through the next loop on my round, right from back to front. The next loop goes through the next loop on my round, next loop from the ball into the next loop on my round. Always pushing from back to front through the loops. And this is how we're gonna get the knit look of our scarf. So we're just gonna continue around and just keep pushing a loop from the ball through the next loop on your round. And working in the round this way makes it so we don't have to turn our work or make any kind of adjustments. We're just gonna keep going around and around and around to make our knit stitches. So next loop through the next loop, from back to front, back to front, and back to front. So this is the last loop on our round. And now we're back at the beginning. So you can see we're working in a tube. So we're just gonna grab the next loop and push it through the next loop. Like I said, we're just gonna keep working round and around and around. We've already established the tube. So you're just gonna keep working around, pushing the next loop from the ball through the next loop on the round. So I jumped ahead a little bit here to show you how things are gonna continue to work up. Even after just three rounds, you can see those knit stitches emerging. So you're just gonna continue to work in a spiral pulling a loop from the working yarn through the next loop on your round. Keep going and then join me back here when you're ready to add another ball onto your scarf. So I've made some really good progress on my scarf, but I am now at the end of my ball. So I'm gonna find the last loop from my old yarn, which is here, and the first loop from my new yarn, which is here. And I'm gonna hold those two loops together. So just Take those two loops, hold them together, and I'm gonna push them through the next loop on my scarf. And I'm just gonna leave those there and just pretend like that's one loop. And that's how I'm going to add my new yarn. And now I'm just pulling up loops from my new ball 
just like I never stopped. So I'm going to keep going, kind of show you what this looks like as you get around and you have to work into that stitch. Um, so again, I'm just working from my new ball of yarn, pushing the next loop on my working yarn through the next loop on my scarf. It's coming together so quickly. I finished several of these scarves in less than 30 minutes each, all while watching Netflix. So if I can do it, I know that you can do it as well. <laughs> so now we're back at those two loops. Again, I'm going to hold them together, push the next loop from my working yarn through both of those loops together. So I very seamlessly added a new ball of yarn. I don't have to worry about weaving in any ends or doing anything extra. That ball of yarn is secure and I can continue on with my scarf. So I'm gonna do that um, until I have three total balls of yarn used. And it's completely up to you how much yarn you end up using for your scarf. You can just work until you get to your desired length, but I actually just ended up using three total balls of yarn to get to my 75 inches. Um, so go for as far as you want to and then meet me back here when you're ready to finish. So I just finished my scarf, just pretend it's much longer than it is, but I'm gonna go to the end that I just completed and we're going to finish this side first. So I'm gonna grab that last loop and I'm actually just gonna pull that loop out and I'm going to tuck that kind of inside of my scarf. So I wanna find my working loops and I'm gonna grab some of my scrap yarn and I'm just gonna start weaving my scrap yarn through my loops. You don't need your tapestry needle at this point. Just find the loop. And I'm pushing from front to back through all 16 of my loops. So from front to back. And the reason I'm doing that is we're going to cinch up the bottom of our scarf before we add our pom-pom. But doing it this way makes it so we don't have to do any kind of binding off like you traditionally do in knitting. We're just going to cinch our scrap yarn together before we put on our pom-pom. So just continue all the way around until you've collected all of your loops, front to back, front to back, through your loops. Just a few more to go here. All right, there we go, we're at the end. So I'm just gonna flip this around, make it a little bit easier to hold on to, and I'm going to just cinch it closed and double knot my scrap yarn. Really nothing special or fancy going on here, just a really secure double knot. Now I'm gonna put my project to the side and get ready to add my pom-pom. So I got two really cute pom-poms also from Joanne, but the thing is they come with these stretchy bits on the bottom and I don't like those, so I'm gonna get rid of it. So I like to just kind of pull that stretchy bit up nice and high, get the fluff out of the way. I'm gonna grab my scissors and just clip it off. You don't need it and the way that I attach my pom-poms, you don't end up using it. So I'm just gonna clip it right out of the way. And at this point, I'm gonna grab my sharp tapestry needle and I'm gonna thread it through one of my tails from my yarn, my scrap yarn. So whatever is easiest for you to do, go ahead and do that. So next we're going to just kind of get some of the fluff out of the way and we're gonna stick the tapestry needle through one end and out the other side of our pom-pom. And it's important to have a sharp tapestry needle because it can be a little bit tricky. So I threaded through about two inches of the bottom of my pom-pom you can see here it's nice and secure in there. And I'm gonna take the two tails now of that same scrap yarn and I'm gonna double knot them again. And that's gonna secure the pom-pom to the bottom of the scarf. So again, nothing special, nothing fancy, just making sure it's secure and then you don't have to worry about that pom-pom coming off at any point. So just go ahead and put that second knot in there, make sure the fluff is out of the way. A third knot if you're just feeling like you need some extra security. And then we're gonna grab our scissors and cut close to the base of that knot and we're done on this side of our scarf. So I flipped around to the other side of my scarf and I'm going to put my scrap yarn onto my needle, just like this. And last time we worked through the loops, we don't really have loops here. So I'm actually going to work my needle through the stitches. So I'm going into the actual yarn and I'm gonna do that once for each stitch. So for this one, I'm working from the back to the front through the actual yarn of the stitch. And this is just gonna make sure that my knot stays nice and secure. 
So the next stitch, we're going front to back. The stitch after that, we're going back to front. And there's really no right way or wrong way to do this. You just want to make sure you're working through all of your loops. Because just like on the other side, we're going to cinch these closed before we add our pom-pom. So I'm just being really careful to make sure I'm going through the actual fibers of the stitch. And I'm catching all 16 of my stitches. So from front to back on this one, back to front on the next one. And again, there's no right or wrong way to do this, so don't get really caught up on making sure it's done properly. Just make sure you get all 16 of your loops. Okay, so I'm done here. I'm gonna drop my needle off of my scrap yarn. I'm just kind of tucking that tail in. I'm not gonna be too worried about that. And now I'm just going to cinch the bottom closed again. So just pulling nice and tight, and I'm gonna double knot down here before I add my pom-pom. Now I'm gonna grab my needle and put my yarn onto my needle so I can add my pom-pom. And just like last time, I'm going to first take that stretchy bit off of the pom-pom. So just pulling that loop up nice and high, I'm gonna grab my scissors, a little snip, and a little snip. Here we go. Perfect. I'm gonna grab that needle, get some of the fluff out of the way, push the needle through one side, out the other side, just being careful to make sure I get into the meat of the pom-pom so I'll have something to really hold on to. Pushing through to the other side. Then I'm gonna push that pom-pom close to the scarf. And grab my two tails and then knot that securely. So I'm doing one knot on this side, pulling nice and tight, flip it over, and I'm going to double knot on this side. There's one and two. Then I'm gonna cut that yarn close to the bottom. And that's it for the last minute scarf. Thanks so much for joining me today to make this project. I really love this and I can't wait to wear mine. If you want to try some other loop yarn projects, I left links in the description below for several free patterns. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much and I'll see y'all next time.